Hello everyone! As always, welcome back. My name is Triplis, and today I will be sharing with you one of my other passions, which is fish keeping and shrimp keeping. So, this is uh, something I started about a year ago, and I've been really enjoying it. And knowing me, I always want to automate as much as possible. Then, if you are linking back to everything I've been uploading on my channel for the past uh, few videos, you can see that a lot of the software and hardware I used will be coming back in the way how I automate my aquarium. So let's get started. I will divide this video in hardware and software. Hardware will be the pieces I put together to get everything working and software will be home assistant as you probably expect. On my big aquarium I have a son of four channel which controls my main light, my night light, my filter and pump and my solenoid. A solenoid is used for controlling your CO2 flow. Um, it's something planted tanks have. So just in general. And next to that, I have something I cobbled together with temperature sensors. One for the outside, one for the inside. Here you can see the CO2 outlet, which is not uh, that uh, exciting. But on top, you see my temperature sensor, which is measuring the water temperature. If we then move to my office space, where I have my shrimp tanks, you can see that there's basically one, uh, just a box with uh, where I will put some shrimp in later on. And then the two main aquariums I have, which one is divided in two. So there I also have lights, um, which is again controlled by a Sonoff device. This is the Sonoff TH10, which you see in an earlier video. And it also has the temperature sensor next to it, with which I can measure the environment temperature. So that's the first thing. Then if we watch in the little box between my aquariums, I have a combination of four uh, water resistant uh, temperature sensors, which will allow me to measure the temperature in uh, my aquariums, which is very important for shrimp. And I also have fans, which, will be, which are able to blow over my aquarium, which will cool them down quicker. And this is measured based on the temperature of my aquariums. Then, as I explained already, my software side or the brain is Home Assistant, which is a software package, I should say, that I've been using for quite a while now. As you can see, I have all the different values that I'm measuring, which is like humid, uh, ambient temperature and humidity. I have them here. So this is in my living room with my big aquarium. So you can see them. Then we have the same with my shrimp tank, which is, this is the TH10 temperature and humidity. And then here we have the three temperature sensors of the water. Here's the same with the temperature sensor from the water of my big aquarium. This is still an uh, aquarium I'm working on, so not much there yet, but it will be in the same space as this one. And then here I have complete control over my aquariums. As you can see here, I have my light cycle, which I'm able to, well, make changes on the go. Uh, you just saw it's uh, three o'clock when I moved this here, my light turned on, uh, which actually wasn't meant to be, but yeah, I turned it on off again. Then my night light has its own cycle. My jewel, uh, my filter and my heater are, are on. You can see the history of everything. And this is basically how I'm doing it. There's a bunch of automations behind this, which I've written myself. And on my website, I will include some additional information on the automations and some of the logic I've used for this. But if you also watch my other videos, you probably already have an idea how I did most of this. So that's uh, the advantage, I guess, of uh, watching my other videos. This was a fairly quick video, but to me, it's quite interesting to show that home assistance is not just for assisting your daily home activities. But the tool allows you to automate a lot of other things in your house, which is in this case an aquarium, but I guess there are other people with animals or even the most simple things like automatically turning on your coffee machine that you're able to automate from home assistant. So I hope by watching this video, you got a little bit more insight in home assistant or what I'm using home assistant for at least. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye.